So I wrote this blog three years ago telling everyone to stay away from Configuration Transport Center. But today I explain why now is the time to start using the CTC on all of your projects. Configuration Transport Center was created by SuccessFactors to manage the process of moving configuration between environments. I tried it out a few years ago, and it's safe to say I was a little bit frustrated with all of the undocumented limitations that existed in the product. Since then, though, there have been a steady stream of advancements to where it is certainly capable of managing configuration updates. In this video, I'm going to go through the setup steps, do a quick transport dem uh, demo, then I will get into some of the limitations I've encountered as of the recording of this video. So, before we can begin to use Transport Center, we need to set up the linkage between the source and target system. So we go to uh, Configuration Transport Center, Transport Routes, add a new pair, put in the details of your target system. Now we will go into our target system and also go to Configuration Transport Center there. And we're going to go to Transport Routes and we have to copy the token that was generated when we requested one. And finally go back to our source system and put in that token. Okay, so we've established the linkage. Now we can begin using Transport Center. So I'm briefly going to explain the transport process at a high level, then we're gonna go in and actually do it. The first step in the process is obviously to open the Configuration Transport Center. In there, you can identify what objects you want to send across, then you will also need to actually create the bundle. The bundle is what contains the objects that you're going to be sending up. After creating the bundle, what I'm also going to show you is that you can also go into the applications themselves, into things like manage data and directly add objects into the bundle as well before you transport it. So once you've done that and you're ready to transport it, then you will export it from your source system then you will go over to your, to your target system and you will do the import there. So let's go in and show that process now. So we're going to go through a couple of examples here. The first one is going to be adding a business rule through the Configuration Transport Center. And as the arrow shows, you need to choose which configuration area you are working with. That is really important because that will drive what kinds of uh, configuration types are uh, visible. So you may have be playing around looking for that. The next thing we're doing here is we're setting the last modified date to last seven days so that we're not seeing a whole bunch of irrelevant uh, elements. Here we are selecting the business rules based off of the last seven days uh, of edits and then we are creating the bundle is the next thing. So I click add to new bundle. I will give that bundle a name. I will create it and then boom, that object is automatically added to that bundle. So that is the process if you're going through Configuration Transport Center. Now, this next part is going to sh uh, show what it's like if I add an object definition to an existing bundle. So I am in the application itself rather than the CTC and I'm looking up uh, the object definition here. And in this case, it is a custom one. And you, what you're gonna see here is I'm going to make a small change to it. I'm gonna add a description just so that you can see what the process looks like. I'm gonna hit save. And then once I am done making my update, then you will see that I, on, under take action, I can choose add to transport bundle. So again, the, the bundle already has to exist, but once it does, I just, hit save and boom, I have added that object definition to the transport. The next example is very similar, but in this case, we are going to be adding a message definition under managed data to a existing transport bundle. Again, I have to individually add it, which 
you know, can be cumbersome if you have a whole bunch of things you need to add. But in this case, we just want to add this one message definition. So I added it to an existing bundle. Now it's time to export our bundle to the target system. So we're going to go into one of our bundles. We're going to click on initiate transport. And then we will select the, the data center environment and company ID that we set up uh, earlier. Hit continue. Hit continue again under export instructions. And then we will click the transport button and that will send our bundle to our target environment. So you can see here right now, it is in progress. It's on its way. Now going back in, looking at the transport request and you can see, boom, it has moved over and it is ready for import. So that tells us we can go into our target system. And here's our target system. So again, I'm in a CTC there, transport request imports, hit refresh, and we should see our bundle and we do. And so we, there's a two step process. The first step is going to validate and that will tell us if there are any problems. And then click okay. And now the validation is pending. We'll hit refresh and boom, uh, the validation was successful. Um, if there was a problem, you would see get a report. Um, I hit uh, import now and then click import again. And now the process is effectively going to be done. Now I'm going to go to uh, business rules and you will see that rule exists now. So the process was successful. Now let's talk about limitations. Okay, last thing uh, before we go, I want to go through the limitations uh, and configuration transport center. But before I, e I even do that, I would also want to go through all the stuff that is fully supported as of now. And the first three things that I'm going to show you here are why I say now is the time to move to configuration transport center. Uh, because these three things, business rules, pick lists, and managed business configuration, um, which of course is the nerve center for Employee Central, those are fully supported. And I've, uh, I was nervous at first to start using uh, managed business configuration, the transports out of that into, employee, into the next systems. But I've had some pretty good success with that so far. So I think we are... Uh, ready to go and to start using that full time. So if you're adding a new field or if you're adding a business rule to a field, you should be able to do that now through Configuration Transport Center, which is huge because that was one of the big holdouts to where we were having to do dual maintenance. So uh, again, those first three uh, in and of themselves mean it's time to start moving towards uh, using Configuration Transport Center. Uh, other than that, uh, we also have all legacy foundation objects, of course, uh, event reasons, workflows, etc. Selected other object definitions, uh, time objects, and many others as well. One one note of caution I do want to provide here uh, when it comes because when it comes to things like uh, legacy foundation objects, let's say that you have a couple of thousand foundation objects of say like uh, pay components. At, it will take you a while because you cannot, you can only add like 40 or 50 at a time. And I believe there's a limitation on how big the, the full list can be as well. But you know, when you're adding to the bundle, it's going to take some time. So definitely plan on this taking a little bit of time the first time that you're migrating this up. But then uh, again, I think that the intent behind this product is more for your ongoing processes. So anyway, just a, a note of caution there. So that's the fully supported group. Next up, let's talk about the things that are supported uh, to if you individually select and add to the existing bundle. So that process that we went through earlier. So the key things to note here are all object definitions, including custom, are available to be added uh, to transports. And that works perfectly fine. You don't need to have to go into uh, configuration transport center and look those up because if you're changing object definitions you're not changing 16 of them at a time you're, you're changing one of them at a time and so adding those to transports is not a big deal 
all manage data elements uh, can be added individually as well. Now that could be a bigger deal because let's say that you've loaded a whole bunch of you know, MDF objects in and they're, let's say even their custom MDF objects. That could take a while to individually add those to transports. So in those cases though, we have a very good workaround which is using import and export data, exporting the data to a zip file and then easily importing those into the target system. So that's still an option for you. Um, and then lastly, uh, configuration UIs. That's also another you know, key element. Uh, you, maybe you're changing that position layout or something like that. They, this process fully supports that. Now let's get to the things that are not fully supported and, are, and aren't supported, uh, frankly, right now. And so these are things also, for the most part, these are things that you're gonna be changing less frequently, so it's not as big a deal, but it's uh, good to know anyway. So we have company logo and system settings. Of course, that big dumping ground. I've got another uh, YouTube video where I go through those in, in detail. Same with platform settings. I've got a YouTube video on those as well. Those you will have to maintain manually. Uh, same with mobile settings. Uh, same uh, with managed report centers. Document template set, uh, mappings. That should be uh, something to, to consider. Again, these are on the roadmap, so hopefully that'll be coming soon. Email template notification settings. That is, of course, that really uh, painful process you have to go in and manually change out tokens on some of those notification types things like that so that unfortunately is still a problem you're still going to have to do those manually and then lastly is the intelligence services center so again uh i i would like to call this out as a as a pretty ringing endorsement of moving forward with configuration transport center uh, hats off to the team and also by the way hats off to the team for uh, cooperating with me on coming up with a list of some of these limitations. I know that this team has done a lot of work over the last few years since I first wrote that blog. So uh, kudos to them. And again, what are you waiting for? Uh, let's get moving and start using Configuration Transport Center today. Uh, thanks a lot.